Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So thanks for joining me today for my weigh-in update. Um, it seems quite a while since I sat here and done this, even though it is only a week. Um, I suppose things, lots of things have happened and yeah, it's just been a busy, busy week. So, and I haven't been filming as you may well have gathered um yes but anyway this is my weigh-in update so um now last week i lost two and a half pound and yeah felt amazing for losing that um this week has been another good week um there's been a couple of times where i've been quite hungry because I've been out like all day and haven't been properly organized as in taking something proper to eat so I have um come home quite hungry on a couple of occasions which then I think that is you know you just want to grab anything you can get your hands on um what else has happened this week I haven't done haven't been to the gym I think I went once and it was only a brief visit because because it's been so busy and lots happening i just haven't had either the time or the energy so i'm hoping that will change this week and i will get back there um yeah so apart from that food wise i mean i have been on plan so i wasn't sure what to expect i i kind of guessed what i was gonna i thought that i was gonna stay the same so um i'll just go straight to it because do you know what i'm one of these that i just like don't beat about the bush just get straight into what we're here to watch so um yeah anyway quite disappointed in fact this week because i gained one and a half which yeah was quite disappointing um the only thing different this week as well is I haven't been logging it like I always write my um food down and I haven't this week I haven't wrote anything down um and I do think that that does make a difference personally to myself um also I think doing filming on YouTube helps as well because it helps you be more mindful of like filling up on the speed foods, you know, and um, maybe I haven't done enough of that this week. Maybe I haven't had enough speed food. So, um, yeah, I mean, so going back to the filming side of it now, I mean, I'm not... As I've said to you before, I'm not one that sit, I, I don't do all this filming when I'm out and about and and whatever. It is just my food, maybe a dog walk, you know, little bits like that. But um, but even then, even so, it still takes time to edit it and you know to film it, to edit it, and all that like jazz. So it's a lot of time out of your your daily routine to do these videos which i really enjoy doing them but if you're not getting the views on the videos that you kind of expect it then makes you think you know is it worth it um and that's how i felt this week i've thought i'm not gonna put myself out to film because sometimes i feel like you know, I'm not getting getting as much viewing out of them as I would like. So, um, yeah, so that, that's basically how I felt this week. Um, I didn't want to put myself out on top of everything else that was going on. So, but this week I'm going to try and do a few days um, filming because it definitely does make you more aware of putting that speed food, etc. on your plate. Now, healthy extras, like we discuss as a group often, I've never, I'm never slack on that. I always measure my milk every morning. That's just a routine thing. And my B choice is always um, weighed, measured, or whatever I'm having is always done properly. So, um, 
yeah, that's not a problem. Daisy's come in to join. <laughs> um, Amber's got a day off from college today, so uh, yeah, so that's not a problem for me. I always um do my healthy extras anyway. So um oh, and a little bit of a change as well um to what I'm going to be doing. Um, Source in World, of course. Um, but I'm going to be changing because, um, well, lots of different commitments are happening and different, you know, like it doesn't stay, you know, kids grow up and then things change and commitments change. And yeah, so I'm unable to go now on a Tuesday morning anyway for um, a few weeks. So I am now going to be going on a Monday evening. It's the same consultant, same place, um, but on a Monday evening. And um, it's seven o'clock weigh-in, I think, between seven and a half past. So it must be half, yes, between seven and a half past. So that's what I'm doing now for probably a month. I'm not sure whether it will continue to permanent. It may well do. I'll see how I get on. I mean, I really love the group I'm in now and I have got some, you know, some really nice friends there that I speak to on a, you know, weekly basis. Um, but yeah, you, you know, things happen and you've got to change. So hopefully I will find some more people at this new group. There's two that go from where I live. So um, in fact, I'm sharing lift with one of the ladies, so that was really kind of her. Um, because I don't have a car on a Monday evening, so it's all a bit... Um, but yeah, anyway, we have two cars now, actually, because Amber's brought herself a car. I don't know if I mentioned this to you, for her um, to learn in. So yeah, she... But I'll catch up with you on another vlog, because this is just a quick weigh-in update just to let you know what's happening, where I've been, and um, yeah, so I will have a proper chat with you. Probably Thursday will be my next time that I'll put a video up. So, so yeah, a little bit disappointed, really, that I've gained one and a half. I wasn't expecting it, um, definitely wasn't expecting it, but things are still going on in my body, um, without going into too much information. Um, so, yeah, I'm still bleeding, so I stopped for a couple of days, and then it's back, so so I don't think things like that ha help either, um, you know, like fluid retention and whatever, so but anyway, I'm going to stick to it and um, see what happens next week. Obviously, next week is going to be an evening weigh-in, where like now I've been doing like nine o'clock, so then I've got, I'm going to be doing seven o'clock in the evening now i was speaking to my consultant today asking her advice about like food wise that day and a monday i'm really busy like a wednesday i'm out all day so like she said have breakfast have she said have a light lunch and then she said maybe about three four o'clock have an omelette so i think that's what i'm when I'm out like that all day, I tend to have a bowl of fruit and a kvarg for breakfast. Then I'll take overnight oats for my lunch um, because it's just quick and easy to eat. Um, and then I won't be home anyway until about quarter to four. So maybe I could have an omelette then because obviously I'm going to be quite hungry. And to go through till... I think I won't be home till about 8.30, so I'm going to have to do something. Otherwise, I'm going to get to that starvation mode where you just want to come home and eat whatever you can get your hands on. But, um, yeah, if you weigh in the evening, what do you do food-wise? Obviously, I'm not at home all day, so I'm not going to be able to, like, you know, cook a brunch or anything. So I can't do that. That's out of the question. But, uh, yeah, if you're in that same situation, what do you do? I'd be interested to know... What other people do anyway can you see daisy <laughs> living her best life oh gosh sorry that's not quite where you were but never mind 
yeah she's just been her lazy old self here so anyway i am going to go i done shopping today but i'm not videoing that today either i really need to get into a proper routine again and get um and in fact i won't be shopping on a tuesday now we, well, i might be i don't know i i'm not sure um but it won't be shopping the same day as i weigh as it has been but um yeah anyway so that is my weighing update sorry i haven't got my book with me right here now i thought this was my book but it's actually the avon book so it's not um that's probably over there but i'll show you next week but it's one and a half gain um anyway i shall see you on thursday and we'll have a catch up then so thank you so much for watching bye